Hey y'all. Uh, just getting home here. If you're new to the pack, uh, let me just do a real quick introduction for you. Shoot, there's five of them. All right, there's five of them total. So here's four. The big one here, the big is the alpha male Ozzy. And Lucia is the, uh, gosh, she's almost as tall as him. She's only 11 months. She's female, Lucia. Dolce is the dominant female. She's about three and a half. This little girl, Gypsy, is my uh, purebred pit bull. About four months old. And then Tux is uh, in the back there. He's my pit bull mix. So, um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just getting home. This is our routine. Come on, Tux. As you can tell, Tux is very um, docile. You know, he's not, he, he tries to kind of avoid getting in the mix with the kind of corsos, but he's very sweet. And this is my gypsy girl. <laughs> This my gypsy girl. Gypsy. Give me gypsy. So I wanted to do this video on Dolce. Dolce. Give me this chip. Dolce. Like I said, she's the dominant female. And she's my highest energy kind of corso. Lucia. You can see Lucia. Oh, sorry. She's very playful right now. Dolce, sit. Go get it. Come on. Let's go this way. Come, come. Man, I gotta get rid of that mulch pile. But yeah, come on, Dolce. So Dolce, y'all, she's overweight. That's why I wanna do this video. Um, you see on Lucia how this is indented here? It's like a scoop. This is where you wanna look, right behind them. See how this scoops in here? You can see it kinda tapers in. That's what you wanna see. That's how you know they're not overweight. Some say you should be able to see just the just the last rib. You don't want to see ribs here. That would be too thin. Uh, but Lucia, she's still a puppy. She's still um, she's still got to grow for another year or two. So she's going to fill out. But let's look at Dolce. Oh my goodness, y'all. She's way too overweight. Even when she's walking, you can see. You don't see that scoop. You don't see that, th that tapering out here on, this, on the flank. See what I mean? It's like a straight line, just like that. She's way overweight. Um, and uh, for a kind of corso, that's very dangerous because of uh, their weight bearing uh, joints, like their hips, shoulders, elbows, all that. Um, they really risk injury to those weight bearing joints. Give me this too. So, it's hard in a, when you have a pack that has different uh, cal caloric needs. For example, you know, I have two puppies. And they're going to need more calories. They're very active than my adult female. Um, and so, the problem with that, you know, if you free feed like I do. I, I free feed my puppies because I don't want them ever to be looking for food and not be able to have food. Uh, you know, I need them to have access to their, their nutrients whenever they, whenever their body needs it. And so, uh, oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Sunset, wow. And so, that's why I have food out for the puppies. Um, which creates a problem, you know, the adult dogs are going to nibble at that too. But what I'm just now realizing... Just took me a while, but these treats, like the one that uh, Dolce is nibbling on right now, this rawhide, actually ha is contributing to her her caloric intake. Um, because she's so uh, prey driven and treat driven, she's very competitive and kind of drivey, high drive. She tends to be the one that gets the treats. You know, she fights for the treats. Ozzy, let's go. Come. Hold on, I'm just sick of it. So, so yeah. So she needs to. Uh, I need to give her less treats, less uh, rawhide and all that. Azzy, let's go. Ooh, that sunset, y'all. 
Good boy, Ozzy. Yeah, there's Ozzy. Now let's take, let's take a look at Ozzy's uh, profile here. Ooh, see Ozzy, I can see. I don't know if you. I don't know if the camera will show this, but I can see this indentation here. Let me see if I can get the camera to show it. It's hard because he's brindled. So, hey, there's Bruce. That's my my brother's dog, Bruce. Hey, hey, Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy's trying to play with Bruce. Bruce is elderly though. Oh, sorry, Brucey. Dang y'all, he uh... Oh, yeah, Bruce. Sorry, Brucey. Well, yeah, Ozzy actually, now that I'm looking at him, he might... Oh, no, actually, he's good. I was going to say, he might stand to lose a couple pounds, but I can definitely see a tuck up there. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is transition to, uh, to completely raw. I think I alluded to this on a previous video. And I'm hoping that that's gonna help. Oh shoot, she's trying to get through there. I'm hoping that that's going to help get the weight down. Mm, the kibble that I was feeding didn't have any grain in it. Grain has a lot of calories, as y'all know, especially corn. So I definitely wasn't feeding any of that, but, uh, but yeah, I'd like to get off of the kibble completely. I'm researching the best uh, raw. I found a really good channel. Oh, Richie, I found a really good channel that I think, I want to say that she's a veterinary dietitian because she breaks every little nutrient down and, and how to get a really truly balanced raw diet to where the, the, the dog doesn't risk a nutrient deficiency. So I'm going to put it, I'm putting together a video for you all of that. I actually went to the Asian market today after work and um, I got a lot of the uh, organ meats and stuff. So I'm going to put together uh, a really good video that's going to show how I'm going to do it. And it's actually not that expensive if you do it right. I mean, you can get, you can source meats that aren't going to break the bank. Hey. Hey, my papa. Oh, beautiful day. It's a Friday. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness it's finally here. Hey, that's my gypsy. She's been wanting to come say hi to me this whole time. Gypsy. And I gotta really work on training her not to be too excited. I don't want to give her uh, rewards for getting in my face and licking my face. As cute as it is, you know, it's, it's so cute. These pit bulls are so loving. Just a minute, baby. Uh -uh. One thing about her, though, is that she is pretty smart. She's a pretty, pretty intelligent breed. And uh, she re responds quickly to corrections. Yeah, this is my gypsy. This is my gypsy. Oh, gypsy. Oh, gypsy girl. Um, so, yeah. There she goes. There she is. That's my gypsy girl. That's my gypsy girl. Come on, gypsy. So, yeah, y'all. They're all waiting for me to come play with them. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I want to talk about is um, why it's so important. And I'm talking mostly to myself because I got an overweight kind of corso. But why it's so important to keep the weight off of your kind of corso and not to let them get overweight. Because she, now she's really at risk for an injury you know and aside from the injury the other risk is that uh over time her her joints because there's so much weight on them more than her body should have they're going to uh wear down more easily so that when she's older when she's elderly she's she's going to be in a lot of pain potentially you know because those joints are going to be just more wear and tear on them over time so, uh, I really need to correct that immediately. And, uh, yeah, so Ozzy, Ozzy, you know, he maybe could lose a couple pounds. He's been very stable at 150, 150 pounds. Um, and the vet said he's not overweight. I can, now I can, with the sunlight on him at a different angle, I can see, I can see his tuck up right here. It's a nice indentation. Um, by the way, I'm 
anyway, hope you all having a good Friday and everything. And, uh, Ooh. Here she goes. Lucia is getting a correction from, from Ozzy for being too excited. He's like, calm down, young one. Calm down, youngin. Yeah. yeah. But she is getting too much in his face. It's really disrespectful. I, I don't think she's trying to be disrespectful. She's craving his attention. She just loves Ozzy so much and she's craving his attention. Um, my theory is that she's thinking she's she wants to mate with him because she's in her hormone cycle. Um, I don't think she's in full heat yet, but she's around that age where she, she's starting to come into heat. Hormones are high and uh, and he's the alpha male. So, she uh, she flirts with him all the time. Hi, Papa. Dolce, Dolce, how are you, baby girl? That's my Dolce. Yeah, see Lucia. She's very playful. That's my Dolce. Mm, but uh, oh, Gypsy. Yeah, it's important to, uh, again, I'm speaking to myself on this, but for anyone that, for anyone that needs to hear it too, uh, it's important um, to give affection to your dog on your terms, not when they demand it. Uh, and it's so hard to do, because you know, you love them, you're excited to see them too. When they come up to you and get in your face and licking all around your face and everything, um, at least for me, my tendency, my inclination is to want to like, oh, how cute, and then love on them back. But um, it's it's really not good for their for their training. You should really kind of just ignore all that, and then when they're calm, when they've calmed down a little bit more, then you then you go and reward that calmness, and then you go give them some love. That's the ideal. That's the ideal thing to do. And uh, so that's what I'm working on, especially with Gypsy and Lucia, because they're puppies. Hi, Papa. Ozzy, you're looking kind of hot. Um, hi, Papa. They've probably been out here playing um, before I got home. Hi, darling. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, y'all, hope you're having a good night. I'm going sit, to sit out here for a little bit more with these dogs and enjoy this beautiful sunset and um, the weather's pretty good now too I don't use my book so we'll see y'all on the next one bye y'all here's my tux Here's my taxi. This is my tux. <laughs> this is my tux. You good boy, honey. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. This is my good boy. Thank you.